Well, hello and welcome to this uh, exercise on two-step linear equation and function machine. Uh, it's based on an IGCAC GCAC higher tier uh, question. There we go. And it says a function is represented by the function machine below, which is here. Uh, then it says um, a number is input into the machine. The output is used as a new input in the same direction as the original input. Okay, so you go from left to right. Uh, it then says uh, the second output is 11. What was the first input? Now, our function machine, if we say let x be the first input, so we have that 2x plus 5 is the output, which is equal to y, say. So that's what we got there. So our output is 2x plus 5, and our output is also y. So 2x plus 5 is equal to y. Now, next time around, we now input y in the same direction. So we now have that 2y plus 5 is equal to 11, because the output after the second input is 11. So 2y plus 5 is equal to 11. So that would be our second equation. In which case, uh, if we say 2y is equal to 6, and y is equal to 3. If we then substitute y is equal to 3 into the first equation, we have that 2x plus 5 is equal to 3. So 2x is equal to minus 2, in which case x is equal to minus 1. So our first input is minus 1. Okay, now for the next question, which carries three marks, and I think it's a bit of fair because the first, the, the next question is easier than the first question. Anyway, it carries three marks. Uh, it says uh, a number is input into the machine. The output is the same as the input. What was the input? So what we got is something like this one here. If we put in x, we have 2x plus 5, and 2x plus 5 is equal to x. So now we have that 2x plus 5 is equal to x, in which case x is equal to uh, minus 5. Okay, I hope all that makes sense. Because if you uh, if you add subtract f from both sides and subtract y from both sides, end up with x equal to minus 5. Okay, now next slide. Okay, now this is a third question, and it says uh, another function machine is shown below. Is this one here and uh, it then says um, if the input is 3 the output is 5 and if the input is 7 the output is 25 and it says use this information to fill in the two boxes so we've got two empty boxes there one with, one with multiplication sign and another one with the uh, uh, division sorry another one with uh, subtraction sign okay and um, here we go and um, we should try and create two equations there. So if we input if we input three, we end up with three. So if we input three and then times w and then minus z, so we end up with this one here. So our output is now three w minus z and that's equal to five. If we then input seven and multiply by w and subtract z, we end up with seven sorry, seven w minus z being our output. And that's equal to 25. So 7w minus z is equal to 25. So we're going to have two equations, and the equations are these 3w minus z is equal to 5 as the first equation, and 7w minus z is equal to 25. Now I can do this in a few ways. Now what I want to do here is if minus z is equal to uh, 5 minus 3w for equation 1, so mind you that uh, minus z is all of 5 minus 3 by 2. Minus z is equal to 5 minus 3w and not minus into 5 minus 3w. So if we then substitute this into equation 2, we end up with 7w plus 5 minus 3w is equal to 25. If we then subtract 5 from both sides, we end up with 4w is equal to 20, in which case w is, the, if you divide 20 by 4, w, w is 5. So w is 5. Okay, now if we then substitute w is equal to 5 into equation 1, we end up with 15w minus z is equal to 5. 
and if we add z to both sides and subtract 15 from both sides we end up with z uh, is equal to 10 so w is 5 and z is 10 as required now i hope all that made some sense and please please subscribe thank you for watching bye bye now